morning students today we shall discuss about analytical geometry in that coordinates in a plane slope of a straight line and then different forms of a straight line okay analytical geometry Cartesian coordinates consider x axis and y axis and obviously intersection of two axes call it as the origin and if you take a point in any quadrant so we call this as the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and the fourth quadrant so if we take a point in a first quadrant it can be represented by an ordered pair x comma y it means that that point is y units distance from x axis and x units distance from y axis so take this as the point of intersection that is a and this is called as b it means that here the point a lies only on x axis so its coordinates can be represented as x comma 0 so this is the point b which lies on y axis so it can be taken as 0 comma y So that is, it means that the point is the point P of x comma y. Let us take this as point P, P of x comma y. It means that the point P is y units distance from x axis and y x units distance from and x units distance from y axis. Okay. So let us take one example. So if we take the point P of 2 comma 3, P of 2 comma 3 so it means that this point is 3 units distance from x axis and 2 units distance from y axis so this is b and this is a and this is the origin so this is the point p of 2 comma 3 so coordinates of the point a is that is 2 comma 0 and coordinates of the point B is 0 comma 3. So, after this, if you take the point in the second quadrant, then what will be the coordinates? So, we know that in the first quadrant, both x and y are positive. In the second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. So, on the third quadrant, both x and y are negative and in the fourth quadrant, x is positive, y is negative. So, this is the positive x-axis because this is the positive x-axis, this is the negative x-axis and this is positive y-axis and this is negative y-axis. So, in this case, it means in the first quadrant, both x and y are positive. And we know that this is the negative x-axis. So, in the second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. So, and in, in this case, again, third quadrant. In the third quadrant, both x and y are negative. So, this can be taken as minus x comma minus y. So, in the fourth quadrant, x is positive, but y is negative. So, if you take the point x comma y it means if both x and y are positive obviously the point lies in the first quadrant if x is negative y is positive the point lies in the second quadrant and if x is if both x and y are negative the point lies in the third quadrant if x is positive y is negative the point lies in the fourth quadrant and after this we have to find the distance between the two points 
if you take the two points in a plane then how to find the distance between those two points again let us consider the y axis and the x axis y dash and this is x and this is x dash and this one is the origin so let us take the point a its coordinates are 2 comma 3 the point b in the fourth quadrant it lies in the fourth quadrant this can be taken as 3 comma 4 so take this coordinates as x2 comma y2 and take this coordinates as x1 comma y1 we have to find the distance between these two points what is the distance between these two points a and b we have to find distance a b so distance a b is obtained by the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so let us take the coordinates of the point a as x1 y1 and coordinates of the point b as x2 and y2 distance between the two points a and b is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square or you can take this also as x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square so x1 y1 is 2 comma 3 and x2 y2 is 3 comma 4 that is equal to root of so x2 is 3 and x1 is 2 x2 minus x1 is 3 minus 2 it is 3 minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 y2 is 4 and y1 is 3 y2 minus y1 is 4 minus 3 whole square and that is equal to root of 3 minus 2 1 1 square 1 plus 4 minus 3 1 1 square is 1 so the distance between the two points a and b is root 2 units